Hello everybody, welcome to a NAF ladder match uh, up against a guy called Help Me Win. <laughs> Quite funny. Um, unfortunately he seems to have only taken five skills, which is obviously incorrect. He should have six. Uh, he's got double guard mummies, a tackle white, a block and a wrestle goo. And uh, I've got eight skills and 12 players. So I've got a block go, which I'm not playing on defense, which, you know, I probably should have played it on defense, but I thought I'm just going to try and get a draw because he's undead and undead are scary. Um, <laughs> and four guard, two block. That's pretty standard, isn't it? If this was, for, if this allowed packages, if it, so this is Eurobowl rules. If it allowed packages, I would have uh, given up this skill for a rookie ghoul, which I think is a great trade. But you know he's got a tackle blitzer, so I thought let's just bench this. Uh, let's bench this ghoul. Cause it's hard to protect the two wolves and the ghoul for the whole half. Yeah, the first, the first, the first step to help me win is to take all six skills. Yeah, I think there would be another guard on this white, wouldn't it? Or or another block ghoul. But guard is pretty much better on the white than the mummy, basically. I think. Hearing fans, bad habits. His players got the bad habits. Good. A random zombie. The tackle white and another zombie. Good. I rolled a six and he rolled a five. Glorious. <laughs> I wrote that. Step one to helping you with is taking six skills away. <laughs> Hello everybody if Jim wins. Of course I upload all of my games, Timmy. Uh, that's uh, the reason I haven't uploaded the game of my Dark Elves versus Dimmy's Chaos is of course that it never happened. It only happened in Dimmy's head. And that Dimmy is what gaslighting is. <laughs> that game just didn't happen. You just imagined it. I don't know what you're talking about, Dimmy. <laughs> we never played Chaos vs. I think I would have remembered that game, Dimmy. And you say I lost? That would have been the end of an era. I don't believe that. <laughs> if it had happened, somebody would have seen it. <laughs> Nobody saw it, so it can't have happened. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, he made the pick up, but he has got a he's got a blockless carrier. Blood Bowl is a game, yeah. So we've got the we've got the follow up hit here, but it's a big commitment to punch. Uh, I'm going to do it though, because well, first of all, why not? All oh, right, first of all, I've got to put my auto clicker on. Number one. This is a big positional cost, but um, the thing about it is. Positional cost doesn't matter when you get to bang people out, does it? Banging people out is the most important thing. Blitz this fella. Dub skulls, brilliant. Bang him out. Push him into there. 
Bob's your uncle. Four, five. Six, seven. There we go. Block him. Three dice. Get the power. I don't think I will stay next to your mummy, actually. And the extra block was a removal. Yes. Oh, what a time to be alive. Good play rewarded. What? What is this nonsense? Is this actual Blood Bowl? I don't believe it. Good thing you saved the replay. I, yeah, I don't know what you did to me. I guess you got somebody to like create a second account. Um, called Jimmy Fantastic and played you. That's some extreme length you've gone to uh, to fake a victory, Jimmy. Wow. Sad, really. does suck having the uh, balls out for this turn, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Got a removal. Got a removal by maxing blocks. Wonderful. Made the 3D. Made the chain in the extra hits. What a player, guys. If I had any idea who that was, Sam Slyker, I would. I guess the mummy's just going to blitz the, the zombie? Yeah. Oh, dumb skulls! <laughs> he can't eat that, can he? He just can't. He does! Wow. Okay. A blockless block. Dub skulls. I can reroll that. It's a nine, isn't it? It's actually hard to blitz this. Uh... This guy. I'm not going to. One, two, three, four, GFI. <laughs> right, so some safe moves. Really sucks to roll two dub skulls, doesn't it? And be down to uh... already be down to this two assist foul and a mummy. Three assist foul and a mummy. Okay, three assist foul and a mummy. On a two plus.
It wasn't a 2 plus for the wolf. It's stupid that the, the, the pathing said it was a 2 plus and then it just wasn't. Stupid game. That's what I was saying, wasn't a 2 plus. I knew that I knew it was a GFI to make the foul. It was whether I had to do a GFI to assist. That was so dumb, wasn't it? God damn it. I rolled really bad two dub skulls already, but I mean, he just ate one of his dub skulls and he's eating a dub skull. I don't know, eat nine. Because I thought I was going to cas a mummy. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh. Only gets a push. <laughs> Let's go, Ray. Ah, diced. Instantly proud. Never lucky. But a bit tricky to defend the ball, isn't it? More than a bit tricky, in fact. tricky. I think he's realising just how tricky it is. Regen. Good. Okay, he stands up first. He stands up. A blockless block. Unbelievable. Two and a two. But that means that this guy can't get through. Maybe I should have taken the push. Did I roll a push? Yeah, maybe I should have taken the push and then like hooked, hooked a power in here. Because now nobody gets through. Yeah, I guess I should have just taken the push. And then rely on the power on the second hit. Because now I don't get him through. Got to do two three pluses without rerolls. I mean, they're both really good three pluses, though. Oh god, and this is a GFI as well. They're all so good though. I'm just gonna, oh, well, now I don't have to. Now I can uh, make this a 2D, can't I? So I should have done the 2D first. Obviously terrible there.
shut up. Three dub skulls in three turns. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. Not great luck. Three dub skulls and a one in nine in three turns. Wow. And now it's a lot less scary for him because he can like, get things done. Instant power. Hello, Diamond. Uh, not bad, thanks. Was bright okay when he when he just didn't bother setting up against the one turn. <laughs> was the after match briefing just 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 both of you yelling at bright? <laughs> but um, there were some interesting things. There were some interesting things I thought in the final. That were like I would have I would have gone for a, you know. Just before it was too late for you, I liked going for trying to surf Mr. Thoreau, and things were all going terribly. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I thought that was wild, because it was so easy. The one turn was so easy. That, uh, like obviously the the time bag made it a bit tricky, but yeah, it was a great effort. Yeah, I mean you can watch the vod right if you want. It's, uh... I don't really want to trap myself in there, though. He's gonna follow. Do I want to go there so I can get away? Or maybe I do want to go here, then the, then the wolf can blitz. I don't know. The Daka was, it was pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, the leap on the... I didn't even think of the leap. Oh my god. It's like he's gone the wrong way. Oh no, it's just... You can just, you can just loop. Yeah, the, th the third half was nonsense, yeah. Yeah, the third half was, uh, was, was Gigi. Right. I really, 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 really would like to surf him, wouldn't I? That's what I would like. <laughs> I'm going to start with a blockless block, pointlessly, away, miles away from everything. Because that would have freed up this fleshy on a power. I mean, this is the only thing I can do, I guess. I think I just need the power here. Okay. So that sucks, doesn't it?
nice nice headbutt mate so I shouldn't have done that block yet because I could have done this 1D and it would 2D he can go there and then I can uh, punch one of the ghouls Dodges this way, so he's away from him. When he fails, <laughs> yeah, orcs are pretty good, yeah. Redraft does limit how good the big ones get, right? Redraft does does limit them, like a low limit redraft. Because it stops you, it stops you skilling your big ones well. But like you know, they're still good. They're still good after like one or two skills. But compared to the monstrosity that dwarves can make in redraft. the wolf, thank you very much. Really sucked that this guy got stunned, didn't he? He could, he could have been stood up and you know, doing something. Oh, don't get that GFI. Redraft reality. I don't know. I don't know. There, there was a, there was a lot of like it's harder to skill biggins than it is like elves. That that is not that is not redraft reality at all at, at all. You, you you know that it's easier to skill dark elves blitzers than it is <laughs> biggin blockers. But yes, they are still good after one skill. Yes, you know biggins are still good just after block or just after guard. But they're definitely not as good at redraft. They're just definitely not. There's no way they're as good at redraft, right? It's hard for them to skill their strength four players with low agility. And then um And then so the so the point is like they can't keep them for multiple seasons, right? It it's hard for them to keep them for multiple seasons in the redraft. And you kind of need multiple seasons to get them up to block and guard and stuff. So so you've got to keep something for multiple seasons or whatever, right? Or you don't keep them too long and stuff, or like you know, and you shuffle things around. That it's just, it's not that easy. It ain't. It ain't that easy. Right. So I can just hit him. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI or this wolf. The wolf can just hit him, right? The wolf can just get there. What about this guy? Yeah, yeah, the wolf can just get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe I should have chained the coot the wraith instead, fuck. That was that was why I didn't want to in case I did that. Well. Let's 
GFI. Please don't fail. Phew. He hasn't got a book. Injured. Oh, baby. Good scatter. No GFIs. Oh, orcs are hit the hardest of those three, aren't they, Diamond? Orcs are hit the hardest of those three. But yeah, yeah, the Necro and the D. I mean, it, it also depends, right? Redraft's interesting because if you take it, like, with the rules, without, if you take it, like, say, something like a 15-game season without a cap, it's 1,700. And if it's 1,700, then yes, the, the cap doesn't really, the redraft doesn't affect orcs that much. If you, like, have a limit of, like, 1,300 or something, then all of a sudden, dwarves dominate redraft then. Because they just get the keep. Constant guard. Constant wall of guard. So it would depend on the redraft cap. If there was one. These mummies, oh my god, these mummies. They've made three cars. And of course, the fleshy is not regened. Three cars for these mummies, my god. Maybe I didn't need to give that hit. Well, I did, I didn't want them to move in. Yeah, see, look at this one, double G. If I had to stop them moving if I could. Well, it depends, does it? depends, like, it depends how you build your team, right? Like, you can min max, like, say, a, uh, a god tier gutter runner and stuff, or you, like, it, the, the one, the thing that you can't do is have, like, a core of, a core of big ones, which is pretty good to have, so. I don't know how to, though, KRZD, that's the problem. So while it's a fine idea, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't think anyone does really, because we just haven't played enough games, right? We have not played enough games to know the best way of dealing with Dakers. Oh, how is he touching him? Shit. Got a dodge, haven't I? Right here. Dead, dead, dead. It's gonna get smashed by him on me again. Oh god. There's only two turns left. <laughs> I 
I don't know, Kel. It's a hard, it's a hard video to do. I could do one like explaining the Dakar and stuff, and like do maybe some replays of Dakars. There's been Dakars in the Super League, right? Maybe like do Super League Dakars. Make a video of Super League Dakars. Maybe that's an idea. And maybe Super League games are a good one to do. Uh, like replays of and stuff. Oh my god, stop injuring on every flipping hit. He has to have regened. Yeah, he did good. I mean, if he doesn't regen, the game's over, I think. It's still bad. <laughs> it's still bad that he's injured, but at least it's not game over. Flip me. Instant full power. Another full power. Of course it is. Good. Maybe break. He followed as well for some reason. Terrible follow there. He obviously, he should never follow here because he's got square movement, so he can just block, not follow. And if he wants to stand in that square, he can just move afterwards, right? No reason to ever follow there. Should have not followed. And then moved. Fails the pickup. God damn it. He's not scoring, though, is it? This is a. Uh... This is his turn seven, so at least... Oh, no, God, this guy can just do a million dodges. Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't just do, what, three... Three, three... No, it's three, four, three. Please don't. Rerolls! Greed rerolls for the pal. <laughs> okay, doesn't kill him. Flip me. Okay, right, he's definitely not scoring then, at least. Problem is, how the hell do I even try to score now? I've only got the wolf left. Can't try to serve him, can I? I'll uphill the mummy. Good. Undy him. Blitz him. Got a push. Disaster. Disaster. <laughs> I always did pen him, I always did. I just I just live in fear of getting banged out every game. But to be fair, I did some banging in my own, didn't I? So it's not too bad. But you know, obviously losing a fleshy is worse than anything he can lose. <laughs> Well, no, he could have lost a mummy, I guess. I didn't get to uh, hit and foul the mummy, and now the guy I was going to foul the mummy with got cursed, so... Sad. My mummy counter is gone, but it is a successful defence, isn't it? So I've got that going for me. <laughs> if 
Thanks, Hanky Panky. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Zombie dodge for a 2D, I'll just do a 1D with a wraith. I think I'll dodge, so I don't really care so much if the zombie dies. I really don't want the wraith to do roll a 1D skull, do I? Lame. Right, I mean, successful defense. Good. Uh, I've got 10, has he got 10 as well? I think he's got 11. Yeah. But. He's got uh, he's got like worse positions, hasn't he? Has he? Five zombies. We've both got no. I've only got four zombies. So yeah. So I've got more positionals. But obviously he's got mummies, which are amazing. Well, I don't actually have more positionals because I've got less players. <laughs> No, we've got equal positionals. He's got two ghouls and I've got two wolves. He's got two whites and I've got two wraiths. And then he's got up two mummies and I've got... Oh, no, I guess... So mummies equal to... No, they're not equal to fleshies because I've got, I've got a fleshy and a ghoul. It's rough, isn't it? It's really rough. It's really, 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 really rough. Knobs OP. Which Discord, Dimmy? Blood Ball. The stats for UKTC. Took out mirror matches. And Knobs did the best at UKTC. Probably because they were always on the bottom tables, right? That's why, Dimmy. That's why they're always, always on the bottom tables. Knobs, knobs, knobs. Undead struggling from always being on the top tables. <laughs> Do I put everything in Oh Mummy Fowl? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is terrible, but I'm so far behind. But I have to do it. It's my assessment. Two, three, four, yeah, yeah, this is okay. Injured, good. Can I not follow? Yeah, I can. No, 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 no. I've got to stand firm, obviously. Well, hey, KO'd anyway. Don't even need to foul it. Fan Dabadozzi. Never in doubt. Protect the other wolf. Don't bother making the last block. Yeah, don't bother making the last block. Brilliant. Got the ball in hand. 
removed a mummy, what a turn. He's nine and made two removals. Good. Good. Well, that's, that's really evened up the scores, isn't it? That's fantastic. Looking good now. I don't know who the fuck we're playing. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, yeah. You, you went 4 one, one didn't you? So if you, talk, if you took out your record, <laughs> then, then Undead have gone like 12-7-23. That's, that's like they're, they're way worse if you take out your record. I don't understand why Undead did that badly. Necro, strong, strong showing. Necro are really good, I think. Well, it depends on the package, right? Like, it depends on the package. It does depend on the package. He's blitzing on you. No, maybe he's not blitzing him. He's got to re-roll, because <laughs> otherwise he's getting surfed, and he might be getting surfed anyway. Well, yeah, he is getting surfed anyway, isn't he? Because I've got two wolves. <laughs> I've got two wolves, he is getting surfed anyway. I could put the Wraith in. <laughs> um, the double, I'm thinking about the double surf. It, maybe I should. I don't want to do a blockless block though. And it, it makes me do one less block overall as well. I think it, I think it shouldn't be a double surf. I think if you want double surfs, go somewhere else that values entertainment over victory. But me, I like to win. No double surfs. See, not even a single surf. Bosh. Brilliant. Absolute ineptitude from my players. Complete pathetic does absolutely nothing. Yes. <laughs> See, I know my dice. I know my dice. Now I have to make a blockless block just to protect the ball. Another cast. I could have made the obviously I was I had the I had the ability to know how to do the double surf, but um I just think it was too many resources when I had to like, you know, get forward, think about the ball, etc. etc. I'd much rather make zombie dodges. I love, I love the idiotic uh, flesh golem. <laughs> I love it. I love the flesh golem animation. I actually do. Like, it's terrible, but I love it. <laughs> the brain thrust. Yeah. Uh, Chaos Warriors actually no it was yeah it was the it was the uh, it was the beast man yeah yeah, yeah I, my fault right I shouldn't have gone forward I should have just uh, I should have let him dodge away diagonally back 
and then it would have been a 3, 4, 4, 3 instead of a 5, 3. It surely has to be better. Like for me, worse for you. I probably could have played that turn loads better than what I did. Oh yeah, I wasted a reroll as well, didn't I? Maybe you could have even been one back from where he was. I don't know. Oh, he stood up there. He stood up there. Gal. Which is interesting. Didn't blitz with a mummy. Oh wow. It's nil nil, so don't really have to push for the win, Baron Bucky. But yes, we'll we'll certainly attempt to win. <laughs> we'll certainly attempt to win, yes. We'll not attempt to lose or or turtle. One of the few times you can tell what turn it is in <laughs> in this game. Um, so if I block him to there, then I can double surf for the wolf, can't I? Which is decent. Not really though, right? Because I'd go there and then it'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can't even double was over the wolf that way. So he could just surf him out of the way. And then he can block and then he can surf. This is probably the best way of doing it. I would imagine. I mean, I should have moved these two first, I guess. But I might not have gone for the uh, surf out of all the power and stuff. turn 11 so you have absolutely no reason to go forward actually gonna win a game well hey yeah beard that, well, that was a hell of a that was a hell of a touchdown wasn't it <laughs> I wasn't joking when I when I thought it was the best touchdown ever not even play of the month it's just play of all times oh my god this movie these two movies were insane this game like what, two regens I think I made? They, and I think they made KOs as well. They just slow. They were like, even if they weren't removing, they were stunning. Absolutely brutal. I can't dodge with a ghoul. I have to have to clear him, but I think I'm going to clear him by blocking. 
because I quite like <laughs> I quite like surfing this fella. Choose. Where do I do it? Maybe here, right? And then he can go there just in case I want to mine the block with the zombie. Good. Pretty good. Stacking is different to a secondary, isn't it? But yeah, they could, but they would have to give up a skill, so... They would have five skills like they do now. <laughs> Which is a big, big cost to pay, isn't it? I mean, a block... The thing, the main thing about having a block mummy would mean you'd have to, like, pay two block ghouls, right? And that's just too much. You want skills on your ghouls. Well, no, the block mummy wouldn't necessarily be a stack, would it? It would be a block mummy. A stack would be like a guard stand firmly. Typical removal dice for Onan. Yeah, yeah, this was... As, as much as I hated the mummies removing everybody in the first half, I sure made up for it in the second half. Yeah. With all the removals I got in the second half, yep. Yeah. The second half was insane. Hello? Is this just lag? Yeah, I think it's just lag. But it's not a block mummy. You wouldn't call it a... A, a, block, a block mummy is not a stack. <laughs> it's a block mummy. <laughs> <laughs> a block guard mummy would be a stack, but a block mummy isn't a stack, is it? Yeah, just, just a block mummy. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. First of all, he goes uh, safe moves first. Just stand them up, I guess. Geist. No surf. So you can go there in case this is a fail. It's NAF style, sounds like it, so it's just, you know, no progression, resurrection. 
resurrection, so every every no 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 injuries and no advancements. Math rules ladder. Generally, rule sets don't allow stacking a secondary and a primary, but this one does if you pay for the packages, which the packages aren't allowed to stack in this um, competition. But um, uh, it's all it's all down to Coach Morg. <laughs> Who did it? Um, there was Coach Morg and Christopher B. And they were talking about it, and I'm like, somebody else can make it. <laughs> and, then, and then Coach Maud made it. And now Chrissy B's an admin. I am technically an admin, but uh, I'm going to do as little admining as humanly possible. <laughs> Oh, I thought I'd clicked it. I'll do nothing instead. I literally thought I clicked it. I wasn't just trolling. I wasn't trolling there. Hopefully, like, you know, Art's played a few games, isn't it? You know, Dimmy's been playing a few games. We could get... World Sitar's got quite a few people watching them. We could get World Sitar, Lock Raging, you know. Hopefully all of these streamers can start playing it. Andy's in it. I don't know if he's got any desire to play in it or not, but hopefully Andy will play it. He's got, he's got all the viewers, hasn't he? So if he plays it, he should get some interest going. Oh, it's my choice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, help me win. I'm terrible. Yeah, 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 just stupid, just, just like getting to surf and claw and everything, isn't it? Like once, once Necro start start winning, um, it gets better for them. He shouldn't be there. Trying to surf, the, I was trying to surf the white, <laughs> but uh, you know, never lucky. Easy. Yeah, Necro really are good at converting a bit of an advantage into a lot of an advantage. It's interesting. No, oh, no! <laughs> Get further away from the mummy. I know it doesn't matter, it should just end the turn here. Really. Well, I guess it matters if you try to do something with this. Right. 
Oh god. I think I I I always say that Necro are the most snowboardy. Um, but there are indeed I think they are the literally the, the most snowboardy. I can't because I'm an admin uh, coach mode, but yeah, somebody else could try. Like, it doesn't ask admins, I'm pretty sure. It just literally doesn't ask because I'm an admin. That's why you're asking because you can't. <laughs> so obviously you know that. Never mind. I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. These mummies, man. Thank God. Thank God the the that wolf region first time. Let Dimmy down then, but you know, this is a comedy mega, so no need to do the dance. He doesn't have one turn really, has he moved seven? Always do the dance. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe to me, maybe you're right. I felt like it was excessive. I did feel like that was an excessive dance. I'm loving the uh, Naf ladder though, it's really good. I think it's really good. And then the fact that we can like organize games as well, and like we can just have a cheeky game versus Dimmy or you know Elliot or Chunter, well probably not Chunter or Rats and that. Is. I think it's really good. Yeah, exactly. After after slaughtering his entire team, I think there's no need to uh, to do the BM dance as well. There you go. Anyway, GG, help me win. Yeah, down the skill was really bad. You can always. Uh, just probably exit the league and re-enter with a, with a six skill team. Do I get back to the number one with that win? Yeah. All right, glorious. Yeah, good point, good point, Dimmy. But I mean, that wasn't won by being the best of the best, was it? That was won by banging out half his team. Which was really just by luck, wasn't it? The, it was the, the it was the block on the mummy, right? Once he was down to one mummy, his team was rubbish. <laughs> basically, that's basically how undead go. If if a mummy gets removed, they're rubbish. They're just like a bad human team. And obviously, I was gonna foul it. I was gonna foul it as well, but just instantly removing it, <laughs> not having to foul it, was pretty good. <laughs> and after that, it was just more players, more blocks. More surfs, more everything, wasn't it? Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.